everyone. Welcome to Manifesting Happiness. I am your host, Esther McCann, aka Miss Manifester. And on this podcast, we are going to be discussing all things manifesting, techniques, mindset, successes, and anything to help you create your dream life, whatever that looks like personally for you. And sometimes along the way, discussing some of the sort of toxic spiritual shit that is just actually holding us back from creating our best lives. Today, I am joined by the amazing Candice Matthew. Candice, how are you doing? Oh, thank you for having me. I'm really grateful to be here. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, I'm so grateful to have you as well. Um, listeners, some of you may know Candice as one half of the LOA twins, uh, but Candice is just here on her own right today. She is a manifestation and business coach. Uh, she loves empowering individuals on their journey to self-discovery and growth. And do you know what? Let's just pause that there. Candice, I think when you and I just first jumped on this call, that's pretty much, you know, the journey you've been on lately. Would you <laughs> I think we're all on a journey of growth all the time. All the time. <laughs> and just when we think it's getting good, it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Tell me about it. You're just like, I just fucking found me. <laughs> I'm just starting to feel a little bit stable. And here comes okay. here comes another wave of evolution. Here comes the spanner. <laughs> Universe is like, you can handle it. Energetic spanner in the works. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you've still got the LOA Twins brand and yeah. you're just still doing things, but you've been on your own kind of journey lately, haven't you? Which has been, would you describe that as a journey of self-love as well? Um. I feel like I had some key things in my journey that led me to a point where change was I want to say inevitable but it was an it was a non-negotiable it had to it had to happen um so there was lots of and I don't really want to go into the details of all of those today but I had some things happen that occurred what which weren't my choice and I think when we when we arise to certain situations and things that come up and we're like, oh, why is this happening to me? Sometimes we can fall into like almost like that victim mode of, you know, not not necessarily moving forward, just spiraling in in the shizzle, as I'd say. <laughs> is I'm like oh, do you know what? I get got really conscious after my first episode so just normally I just nod to just <laughs> rather than they're loading me in the background going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. in the back so I've just been nodding but yeah that that's so true about yeah. um I don't know is if it's even something I would say it's like it's sometimes it is part of the process I think you you have that moment don't you where you feel sorry for yourself yeah, doom and gloom. And I, I always, um, with my clients, is call it sometimes we need to give ourselves an energetic bitch slap. It's like, right, okay, come on now. Like, pull, not pull yourself together because I really do emphasize with honoring those feelings and honoring the contrast in manifestation. But at some point, we need to, you know, grab the reins and, and take control of our lives. And that is, what I've had to do for myself that's what I've had to almost navigate through my own experiences and what's interesting is how that then links with the people that I work with it's like this is coming up because I actually need to navigate this in order for my purpose and that's what makes the challenges in the contrast more um more delicious because you actually look back and you go oh right okay from that breakup it's led me to create in this brand which wouldn't be here without that so we all have our version of that we all have our version of this is this is happen happening to me and it's using those experiences to actually again navigate but move it into something that's forward focused something that's positive something that is it's it it actually fulfills you and you use that to 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 your advantage and that's what I'm all about it's actually using these experiences to to grow to rise and to glow to glow through through it all I'm gonna go completely off topic before we go back to that you've got some <laughs> you've got some new mer merchandise coming out haven't you I've seen it yes <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it babe tell tell us all Hello, about getter. um so 
a part of my journey um, is almost uh, moving forward, uh, being in the industry for seven, eight years now. Um, it got to the point where it was very much do and action and almost a lot of, of contact and working, which I love, like I love what I do. But as I've moved through the the industry, and I feel like the industry should change as well, but also through my own journey of what I'm wanting, I'm wanting that freedom. So everything that I've created on my own as a brand is, is basically to allow myself to still create change and help others to manifest and have fulfillment in their lives, but also freedom. And I feel like as a as a collective there's so many of us out there that are just wanting that freedom of of life and not you know working constantly and doing all these things and this links really closely to self-love is he's like actually what do I want what do I want with my life what do I want with my my experience and that's basically why I bought in the merchandise it's to help others to feel good about what they're wearing and but also to create that passive income and that freedom for me to be able to still create change and excitement and and um me to be able to share my passion but also I can still have that freedom that's why that's come through I love that it links I'll link it up to previous episodes because it just it drops those little nuggets don't listen to other <laughs> episodes guys but um Ryan Hartley, who was on a previous episode, calls it like heart print. And it's about you leaving that oh. effect and that legacy of like that every everywhere you go leaves a trace. And it's beautiful to think that someone could be wearing your jumper and it has like a, a, an empowering message on it. And that that just happens to touch someone. And it's like, you yeah. know, you know, like you don't even necessarily even have your face involved in that. But like it's still out there. Clear. Yeah creating a positive impact and a positive ripple effect and completely understand what you're saying as well about about passive income and having the freedom I don't want to create a truth and, and like throw this out on the podcast like to to say that this is a fact because we all create our own truths but I personally find that when I'm working in an in, in I'll call it an employment setting I don't actually have the freedom to give myself the self-love and compassion that I need yeah on a daily basis so you know there's there's been times where you know what it's like like say you are going through one of these sort of spiritual awakenings or you know moments where you feel like you're going to end up needing to bitch, <laughs> bitch slap yourself and, you, and and someone's like sorry um Esther can you just jump on our teams meeting and I, like, I, I just need a bubble bath and I just need to cry right now and it's like you know, there's no room for that like I <laughs> That I love about creating a freedom lifestyle is the ability to pause and process and self yeah. Um, I just think it's so so important. Have you got any advice for anybody that I do think they whether they feel like they're in the middle of perhaps of that? Yeah, call it the, call it the, the victim patch or the why is this happening to me rather than for me phase? Yeah, so um, just to rewind slightly back from what you're saying around when you're working, like we all we well we all need money we all need to be able to survive to live to have these things to breathe to drink we need nutrition we need the we need these things um so i always coach that in your life your day to day is that there's three almost threads or elements that you want to gain equilibrium through so by equilibrium i mean like balance yes so I always use, I'm not great at maths, but I always say it's like 100%. <laughs> so across all... 33.3 recurring, there you go. <laughs> um, so across those, you want to get like 33% across work, family and play. Yeah. And then you've got health that almost umbrellas everything because without your health, mm. you have nothing because you can't function, you can't do any of those things. So your health is most important is what you're eating, what you're drinking. And again, there's no judgment there. That's what you feel is right for your body. Um, but those three elements, so you've got work, whether that's business, whether it's working for somebody, whether you're a mom, like there's certain elements in it that you you have to do. There's almost like that commit energy. And if 
like a lot of people with well well the system's built for us to do majority of the work in if you think about a day it's like from nine till some people work till six majority of those hours are spent on work and then what tends to happen is the family usually comes next so you've got all those commit energies with that you got to get the kids to school you got all these things and then the play one is what most people miss out on and by play that means like self-care self-love doing what you need journaling um visualizing walking nature nurture and all these things and the majority of the population are basically the other three a majority the, the first one because it again it's from this need energy but what I've noticed is, is the more you give to yourself and your cells, your body, your energy, it actually, it actually, especially with business, it emphasizes the way you work, the way you function at work, and um, whether you're getting promotions and the way that you feel in work. So some weekends when I've gone out and had fun and I've done all that amazing stuff, when I actually come to sit down at my computer. I actually feel excited. I actually feel I I actually want to work. But what what's really important is is to understand what your percentages are currently like. So actually, do you know what? I'm not there's zero time for myself. And then that's where you have to then take the reins. Right? Okay. I need to make time for myself because if I don't, I'm gonna burn out. I'm gonna feel shit. I'm gonna live a life that I don't want to live. And so many people are caught in that rat race, that cycle. So it's really about, uh, I always say, not being oblivious to what's going on. Like, what's the reality of your circumstances right now? And what's going to lead you to abundance and fulfillment? And fulfillment's at the heart of it is actually you live in a life what actually feels good. And we all have 24 hours in a day. We all have that. We all have a year. And we all have commitments. So it's not comparable. So I get some clients saying like, I've got kids and that's why it's harder. No, it's not. It's that you have a choice with what you do in your day. And the more you can get better at those 33%, like when I'm working, I know like at lunchtime, I'm going to go for a walk. So I start to blend my day of those three elements spending time with my dog, which is tapping into that family energy and having all three, in my opinion, helps you to reach fulfillment and you actually start to love life. And that's what we're here for. We're here on earth to love life. And that is manifestation, is living a life that is is um, intentional. It's like, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is what's not working. And that almost that clarity on that will start to break change and breaking changes where it's where the the good stuff is at it's like you have to start making these changes if not you just live a life that's not really what you want it's hazy everything you said there was just gold I, I think the thing that I find the most with working with my clients and I think just looking at the wider kind of collective is that most people to the idea of of rest or play or you know whatever word we want to put on that kind of yeah. that segment if you were going right i need to make money and then and and i'm fucking knackered and i'm this yeah. that and the other when you do say to people okay well you we need to bring more of this in they're like how that they're like how the fuck yeah. is that going to help yeah it's it, it it i just think we're so conditioned that it is like no, 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 no. You just got to, you just got to work harder. Yeah, you got to kill yourself, basically. Exactly. Yeah, and then your health declines, mm. and then this is actually what happened to me. Mm. Um, so before I came into the coaching industry, I was a teacher, qualified teacher, mm. uh, but I actually worked for myself. So I was um, teaching dance, so that's what I teach, and. I was going around different schools and basically teaching, driving up and down 500 miles a week. <laughs> and my heart started um, blagging up that there's something not right here. And this happens to so many people that come to me. They're like, your body starts warning you, um, whether it's anxiety, stress, confusion, headaches, 
So I had a combi, I had headaches and I had heart flutters um, and anxiety. And um, it got to breaking point, which for most people, it, you, it, and that's how sad it is. It's like your body has to literally start to shut down before you will listen and, and actually start to make that change and accept that like, actually something needs to change here. So the ambulance came out. I was in a school. The ambulance came out. They did like an ECG and said, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. But I know physically, yeah, yeah, yeah. feel it. Um, and this is with any physical manifestation. You start to, your body will start to show you like something's wrong here energetically. If you don't feel good in yourself, then how can you manifest what you want? Because you don't feel good from your heart or from your soul, your cells. So at the heart of manifesting is, is does my bo- does I, does my body feel good? Do I feel good? And this also links to self love. Is is that that's why that's so important? So the um, the ambulance came up because said nothing wrong, but I knew that something needed to change, and I got to that point where actually I actually don't enjoy this anymore. And even though I built up a brand, so I had a company called Candance. So I had people, <laughs> I love that, <laughs> people working for me. I had a team, um, and it was literally like I need to find something else that's going to light me up. So that was the start of moving into becoming a manifesting coach and a law of attraction coach, and me and my sister joining together, and that was how that started. But at the heart of it was actually accepting that something's not aligning here for me anymore. And I think we're conditioned to think that if we if we change our minds or we we almost want to do something different, that there's a problem with that. But energy changes all of the time. And I think that's um, again, it's a conditioning that we're conditioned to that we should go to go to school get a job, go into a uh, industry, whatever that is, and stay working there until your retirement. And then that's when you live your life at the end. Um, and that's what I don't believe in. I believe in that you, we, we're here to live now. In now the- yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. And I think what you've said is so true that we're, we're very much, I think. Oh like- no. What? Royal Mail. Oh, go get the pa- go get the parcel. Really sorry about that. Oh, you don't have to say sorry. We we I as you know, I just try to leave all these little moments of realness <laughs> in the podcast because I think this is again. I think this links even into what we were just talking about. Is is this is real life? Yeah. And I think people might say, look at like let's just take you and me, you know, there's plenty of people who aren't looking at us, but there's also plenty of people that do. And they might just be like, oh, they look like they've got it together. All of this coming, like, it's just this, that and the other. And it's like, you do not see me like scrubbing my toilet. You do not see the state of my shower right now. Like, (laughs) you know, trying to bleach that bastard. Like I've got mold (laughs) growing all over this house and I'm trying to keep on top of this crap. And it's like, yeah, just real, just real people. But I think this is it yeah. again. So we definitely, I think, get like pressured into like, for example, let's take can dance. And probably when you were going, I need to change something people, I bet you had people say to you, like, are you mad? Like you've built yeah. up this brand. What are you doing? You know, why would you want to start again? And I think this is it, isn't it? We're, we've all got internal inner guidance and permission to yeah. just go, I, I know what's right for me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you've got to just trust me on this one. And But I'm sure you would agree. It still feels fucking scary though, right? Yeah, because I feel like we we don't like change when it's happening. But nobody likes change because it's... Uncertain. I think it's human instinct is, is that we, wanna, we want to feel safe. So when we're, when we're going through change, whether that's physically, emotionally, fan- financially purposefully it's like that change requires almost that lack of the safety net that's underneath it's like it's like the rug being pulled from under your feet kind of thing and then you gotta you've got to remain in in equilibrium you gotta you gotta you this is where you need to use your manifesting tools to to almost 
trust that okay this is happening this is not happening or this needs to change and then holding trust within within your energy that actually okay I'm just going to keep taking those steps and that's what's important is is keep stepping even when you can't see the light and and the more you step the more the light comes and then at the end you've got that light and you've got that this is the reason why and I'm so glad I kept stepping but a lot of people get stuck in the step and don't recluse yes. or hide or ignore or avoid and it's actually like in order for this change to happen you actually need to play your part in this this isn't about you just you know just waiting it, and that's part of my coaching is is that what are you waiting for it's like actually this is this requires you to do something your part in this and i guess i think in manifestation the the that that part isn't very much once you've done your small part it's like then it's the universe source god whatever you believe in it's that where the almost the the magic happens and i guess it's finding what part you need to do that's where people struggle because you don't necessarily know or you're caught in a cycle of 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 fear or disbelief lack of trust whatever it is and it's like gaining that gaining that clarity is is it is really important and then understanding what steps I need to take no blame no guilt no self-sabotage it's like this is where I'm at these are the circumstances now let's glow (laughs) and it's then it's then it's then it's moving on so so true what you said about the you know just taking that step and it generally is actually a very it's often a very simple step yeah so it's it's not taking it's not about to me anyway taking every single action under the sun there's like one aligned action and so I, when I think people think about effortless manifesting it's when they land on that one that one little thing that they had yeah. to do and it was like that one little tweak and everything just goes click 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 whereas then you see other people kind of just going I don't fucking know I don't know and then they just I call it like throwing mud at a wall it's a splatter gun effect of just yeah. like you know and and then it's all just a big mess because there's so much resistance in the mix have you seen um the Disney film Onward no Oh, there's a there's a scene in that film and it was um it was really powerful to me, but it ma- really made me think about what you were talking about with that step. And there's a um um it's all kind of like fantasy, and him and his brother, they get this wizard star from their late father, and they're trying to master it basically. And there's this giant kind of canyon chasm and they have to get across it. Yeah. So they they've got this spell that's supposed to create a bridge, but but what they have, what he has to do is um, walk out onto nothing. Ah, yeah. yeah. And his belief in the process creates a step. Ah, and it's but it's oh fucking hell for someone who don't like heights. <laughs> I'm getting palpitations just talking <laughs> about it. You feel sick because you're just going. He's walking on nothing, but it is. I so I just think there is so much to be said for that is it's it is sometimes stepping into the unknown isn't it yeah. and, and believing in yourself yeah do you think that's there's an element of that like with with your coaching where it's about getting people to the point where they believe in themselves and and, and ultimately that they as a conscious creator and manifesting and creating through themselves rather than waiting for, I think somebody to come save us, which is the kind of, that's the passive part, isn't it? Like, right. It's like, Oh, throw me a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, with what I do as well, because I use um, with uh, obviously coach manifestation, business, self-love. I also have and work with my energy and my spiritual team. So I have a lot of people come to me and like, tell me, like, tell me what you see. And, uh, I I I under I understand that, and I I love to get people to understanding of what's going on because sometimes we're so clouded that actually we need almost that outside eye to be like these are these are what the blocks are these are what's stopping you because sometimes we're that stuck that we can't unstuck because 
because energetically we're in a perpetual momentum of of negative of negative energy and build up so build, being able to almost like I have people come to readings and I can just look at them and understand what's going on for them energetically physically and again this is emotionally spiritually I also use my physical my non-physical team um but we've also got something what's called the unconscious as well so consciously even though we want to we want to be positive we want to manifest we want to we want to move forward we've also got this unconscious flow of of almost and that's what resistance is it's the unconscious mind which we can't always well most of the time we can't control it um and actually the understanding of what's going on on an under unconscious level because you've got surface level which is it's almost like those transitional things you can change in the moment right I'll go for a walk and that will make me feel better Mm -hmm. but actually underneath there's that undercurrent of the reality of what people are really going through um, and that ranges from really traumatic things so being able to help people to almost unpick that and un- unstuck that if that's even a word um, it allows for um, true energy to flow through um, and also these realizations on an energetic level of that okay this is why this isn't working out for me. This is why this isn't manifesting because this is what's going on unconsciously for me. And to be able to help people with that, that's where I, um, that's where the passion is for me because you actually unshackle people and to see people go from stuck to thriving, that's, uh, and and they possibly wouldn't be able to do that without that support, without that understanding. That's where the magic is for me. That's where I just, I love my clients. I love the people I work with because I'm helping them to change and they've put their trust in me to help them and to receive it, whether that's intuitively, physically, however it comes through, to be able to do that is a blessing because I've worked with so many people that, couldn't conceive and they've worked with me and they've conceived they've had a baby I've got little babies that I'm sent oh I've got these ones. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've actually like rolled my sleeve down <laughs> they come to me for menopause mm-hmm. and so this is the other magic of what I do is I do the healing as well so there's no cap on the way I will support a soul that comes to me whatever they need I will flow to intuitively whatever way, um, through energy, energetics, vibrationally, I'll flow to what the need is for that client. And um, the that that's where the magic occurs. And the thing is, is I don't know how I'm doing it. I don't know always how that baby was conceived. It's like, it's magic. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the beauty of, of manifestation. <laughs> like that, you're so right with that, is that I think most people need they want to know every little yeah um detail of how that process is going to come together like if you were like right look you're gonna have a baby apart from you know <laughs> man sticking his dick in you like <laughs> that's the obvious bit right or like insemination or like all these <laughs> apart from that they're going but how because and I yeah. think and you're just like look like and it's it's that isn't it is sometimes it's you have to go you do have to stop trying to micromanage yeah fix or solve or understand all these little minute bits and also I find for me like you were saying about the unconscious part there I have to stop affirming like the conditions around me that I'm seeing that I are yeah. actually things that I want to change yeah. like you know, at the beginning you said to, all the way to circle back like to say about you know you get sometimes we get too stuck in the contrast stage it's like there's a difference between observing the contrast and saying, right, I see you. I see what you're guiding me to. But so many people get stuck in the, but, but it's not changing. And yeah. I, I just and just they're not understanding that, that that energy is fluid and that they can move it sh- simply by shifting their perspective. Um, yeah, perspective and focus. And so that's what I find is like that it's, you have to change the story and then change the person who is showing up. Yeah. That story. Like for me, I'm, I know that 
I'll take relationships as an example. Uh, I've had very, what I would call quite similar cyclical relationships. And it's kind of got to a point where I have to say, right, you're the, you're the one creating this story. Yeah. And you're going to have to, you've got to decide to perceive it differently. But but ultimately, the way you show up in the way, whether it's the way you communicate or this, that and the other is massively feeding into allowing that to keep manifesting in the same loop. And that's it, isn't it? I think is you are facilitating yeah. massive change so that people can, like you say, through being unstuck or unpick, unpicking those things, they can start showing up differently and taking those aligned steps. Yeah. It's actually amazing, really, though, because sometimes because I don't, because I'm channeling it guidance. Mm -hmm. Oh, my ears. Um, oh, do you, do you get do you get ring like ringing? Like, yeah, I've got like a pain, but it's fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, I get um sometimes that hasn't happened on it for ages. I'll get like uh, like yeah, yeah. Was, um like Morse code, and it's like and then other times it's not never my lobe. Like this bit of my ear goes bright red. <laughs> I look like such a dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm like oh, I'm not my lovers talking about me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely feel like um I've done I've helped people with things that I, I can't even comprehend no no I can't understand and I love it I always say like the beauty of magic is we don't understand how it's working so the minute you start to work out well how did you do that it eliminates the beauty of yeah, magic. Yeah, just just enjoy it yeah just enjoy the manifestation if that was what you wanted all that time and you've come yeah. for one reason and you got two for one really because you came for menopause but then you've come out with a <laughs> it is though, isn't it session. I think sometimes it's way more than two for one isn't it it's like you what the ripple effects it will have across yeah life. like it's like when Abraham Hicks talks about the sticks and things and she yeah. says about how you know you you put down the one stick that's fucking you off and like focus on this other one and suddenly that one will become right. And then actually yeah. it reflects across all your, all departments. Yeah. And I, and I just love that as well. And you're, and you're right. Like when people get too into, for me, I notice it the most with when it's like, when people are looking, especially at signs. Yeah. And things and they're going, but, ooh, but what's it about? What's it about? What's it about? It's like, just enjoy it. Just like, alignment. Yeah. It's just alignment just alignment and just and just feel into that and I think sometimes you then people then add more crap to their yeah spin by freaking out clogging <laughs> the pipes as Abraham would say you're clogging the uh, clogging up clogging up them pipes <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just it is that though isn't it it's like just it is funny I, I now I'm just going like just shut up and enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any other particular guidance that you want to impart to our listeners before we wrap up? Um, Anything that's on your really on your heart at the minute, even if it's like something personal that you like, you know what you said at the beginning as well is that sometimes you're like, I'm going on this journey because then I know it's like, then I'll have the message that I also need to pass on. I feel like that a lot. Yeah. I feel like that's for anybody that's, going through mm -hmm. shitstorm as mm -hmm. I say it's like there's light at the end of the tunnel and you just have to navigate and find your way mm -hmm. and everybody's way is completely different and it's like when you're going through it it's the it's that's what's hard because you want almost to have the answer and the answer is is you just find your way and keep taking those steps and keep moving forward with love and light and and just being really aware of your energy what you're putting out there what you're doing and what your part in like I said before it's like what's my part in this mm -hmm. and being honest with yourself being honest when actually it, like you said it's like I actually need to change here because what we attract is a reflection of what we need to develop in ourselves that's not to say that's mm -hmm. that thing that we've manifested is right and they've if it's a person 
what they're doing isn't wrong it's not to justify that but yes what's, he's like okay what's my part in this why does this keep coming up for me what what is the story here like you said and being an, uh, really aware because it's when you have that conversation with yourself you, and you actually start to make the change and break the change that's when you're the, the quicker you get there the quicker you'll move out of the contrast mm. so yeah yeah, it's something that you said earlier. I, I I don't have my pad in front of me. Like normally I should have my pad and I should make notes at the same time because <laughs> so much comes through. Like so it's interesting as well. I'll say, like, I think you I don't I, well, I'll ask you actually about the way you receive your your guidance. Like yeah. I find the way that I'm what I channel, I don't hear it um as any other like voice. I don't see it as any other particular entity. It's just it just comes through very, very fast. And I just yeah. And just know the difference between what's, I guess, what's me and what's spirit. Yeah. Sometimes I do just fucking wish it would be like, like somebody <laughs> just like, hello. And I just be like, oh, okay. Like it would just make my life so much like a little bit more. <laughs> I don't feel that like, like thing of like, I'm channeling like anybody or anything. Yeah. Anybody. It's just guidance. I just, I know it's not me. And the reason, it's probably you're the same. The reason why I know it's not me is usually because afterwards I'll go, I've no fucking clue what I've just been talking about. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm like, blurred. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like, and then people will say like, oh, you said this thing to me once. I'll go, did I? Like, that's like, when you know. I've got, I've got a great memory. So <laughs> I'm just like, oh, well, I'm like, okay, spirit said it. Um, Right, I'll ask you. And then I've got one more thing. I've actually got a couple more things. Could I answer that, that one? I was going to say, do you... Do you receive it, especially because I know you. I know you channel like and get like um like you've got your team and um you often receive like messages from like celebrities and things. Yeah, like what we'd call ascended masters, I suppose. Um, how do you receive it? Do you like hear hear that differently? So in the beginning, um, so obviously being an identical twin. Yes. When you say to people like we're telepathic there's a societal to is that a word societal yeah people almost can understand like oh you're twins you can do that um and right. that's something that we've obviously done so um the connection between twins even in the womb is non-verbal mm -hmm. so it's an ability that obviously we've learned from birth but also a baby can telepathically connect with their mother. So it, in my opinion, it's something that we all do. But with twins, it's something that people kind of go, oh, OK. Yeah, I get it, because it's that it's that kind of like the special factor, isn't it? I think, yeah. I think it's like when you do say, like, say you meet anybody who goes, you know, I'm a full blown psychic. psychic. Yeah. But those people are like there's something very special about that person that that I'm not special and I don't think this has come up on the podcast bef at all before perhaps it has but it's actually we've all got those gifts haven't we yeah. Some are just more receptive and tapped into understanding that we, yeah. can, we can access those gifts but I think you're right when people hear oh the twin thing yeah it's just like oh yeah but they're twins that's why, yeah, they, can that's do why it. they can do it <laughs> so I think when we obviously created LOA twins the brand um we actually didn't consciously recognize that that was an ability even as twins and um, we 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 began obviously coaching law of attraction and business and then we had a moment with our business coach and she was like but what are you and I remember <laughs> the, let's, let's niche down here <laughs> and I remember Tish going with this with that with that with that with that and I remember the moment she went we're psychic and I remember the moment where we consciously accepted that yeah. oh yeah that is something that we have always done mm. and also we're naturally doing it but there wasn't that conscious awareness of it no and it's quite a, I think to most people it's quite a strong label isn't it like yeah yeah but it, but it is like yeah you it's like you are psychic and yeah and it's not um I'm sure everybody that's listening to this is, is obviously very receptive to that that concept well, anyway but I think it makes you think of like I don't know like somebody really out there who's like the way they are so say channeling and receiving 
I suppose it's like on a spectrum, isn't it? Yeah, it's and I guess it's like um, Abraham Hicks. Yeah. He's received through non-physical. So yeah. we developed what's called destiny readings where we tap into somebody's destiny um, and we can see it, feel it, hear it, sense it, intuitively know. We've got guides, we've got – and it, it's something we we received ourselves. Yes, can feel we can do that with clients um and then I moved into creating my own so I've got an ability called divine feminine yeah. so it's an energetic ability where a feminine a female will come to have a reading and I tap into their feminine energy their vibration and I energetically receive challenges blocks um fu- past present future houses businesses and I basically collate that's how it works but Mm -hmm. I collate through I don't necessarily feel like it's important to know where this guidance is coming coming from I always say give me the good stuff yeah through I don't need to get caught up in how and how this is coming through all I need to know is that my clients are coming to the call I'm highlighting and enriching their lives because it's an unre it's un uncovering things that are there what most of them say I already knew that anyway (laughs) but it gives them like lovely confirmation though isn't it to 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 be picking up on yeah and then what I do is I then work on them on that so rather than saying here's the here's what I'm getting Mm. goodbye I'm actually here's what I'm getting yeah great change let's actually do something about this Mm. let's let's work together to actually make a difference mm. and that's how it all kind of flows together but it's yeah. just <laughs> yeah because I've always found like whenever I've had a reading done it's they're very good the people who've had readings because I don't think I haven't had I don't, I'm not I haven't had a reading from you so I, well, all I'm saying is on this to do one. I, I'm not umbrellaing Candice in this statement people are very good for me at like say picking up on where I'm at like right now but what comes through future stuff is yeah uh, it's very fucking it's been very wide spread and there's only been a couple of people where I've gone yeah okay like yeah yeah, maybe this is turning into something yeah um but you're but yeah you're so right I think a lot of people just do go for a reading and then it's like "Hmm." so I think to have like you say, like you're holding up the mirror, you're providing a very, very wide variety of like holistic approaches to that individual's need. Yeah. But then to actually go, right, okay, you know, spirit are saying this and now what? Like not, yeah. not it's like they've said this and then it's like, yeah, like you say, goodbye. <laughs> Later, but, deal but with also, it. But and also like you say, not overanalyzing it. Some of the things are like deep stuff, like that I wouldn't want you to go away and just have to deal with that. Actually, no. people come and they're emotional. Oh, that, we're like touching on something now. It's just like this like fucks me off. Like when people go for like what I would describe, I suppose, as like a non-trauma informed reading. Yeah. And like, you know, people just say shit and then they're like, they're, they're out and they're like, what the hell am I left to do with this? Yeah, like deal with it. Yeah, yeah, no empowerment, no, no, you know, trauma-informed things. So all I would say is, like, obviously, guys, if we want to get a feminine energy reading with Candice, like, yeah. please, but, but please do, yeah, discern and and pick pick out who you choose to spiritually guide you very wisely, I think, because there's yeah. there are, let's put it bluntly, you know, there's lots of people out there doing damage, you know, where they're oh, not. Yeah, yeah. So I can't have massage because... I'm very aware of what I have had a massage. Oh, what from other people's? Yeah, like a physical massage because Uh, I had one in it. I got like flu symptoms because it's it's the same whether they're touching you or tapping into you. Your or or is the reader that is doing the reading or even the coaching, the mentoring? Are they divine, pure energy? Have they worked on their own shit or Uh, are they? Anybody can sit there and give advice and 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 guide, but actually sometimes that guidance can be given from a place of their own lack, not uh, and that's why it's so important to clear your yeah. own 
situation so it's pure so it yes. doesn't influence the guidance that yes. I'm going for a breakup so you you're whatever it is it's like yeah. you you don't offload your own stuff into yeah. your 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 readings basically yeah like you say in your readings or in your work like don't project your story then onto somebody else's yeah. story and I always say it like even if it's just when I'm on YouTube and stuff, I always say like, look, everything that I'm saying is designed to be empowering. Yeah. But I always say if there's anything I say that you go, I and the same for this podcast, or if anybody, like a guest, if a guest comes on and says something and somebody's like, I don't know if I agree with that, fine. Like if it's yeah. it's not, if it's not your empowering for you and you don't think it's your truth, just like, just don't take it on. But yeah, it's- It doesn't matter. It's very difficult because we are, aren't we? We're all human. Like we've all got our own thing and just making sure that that's not projected out onto other people is just... Yeah. Um, and the like, final thing I was going to say before we wrap up is what you said earlier about change and, and how that feels for people. And I think it's like if we can get to a place where we feel safe, even if in, within change, we're a fucking unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> I, because then you just go, okay, I'm going to roll with these punches and let's yeah. just see let's just see what happens. Whereas I think the more we resist the change, the more we hold ourselves in that, in that position. As soon as you go, right, I'm, I'm, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to go with the flow on this. The quicker those conditions move. Yeah. Surrender. That's yeah. what I'm getting. It's like, it's that yeah. arms up. This is happening. Yeah. Yeah. It, oh. I'm just going to surrender to the reality right now, but this reality doesn't have to be my future. No. It, it can be my it could be your your greatness yeah. it could literally lead you to greatness yeah and yeah contrast I always say with manifestation is it's actually the things that we understand that we don't want that are navigating is to actually what we do want so rather than go this is happening this is shit I hate my life it's actually uh, oh okay, Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually interesting because actually these are the things that I don't want. So mm. let's let's be intentional. Let's pivot these into okay, I don't want that. That just makes me feel shit. Okay, mm. but what do you want? And it's the unpicking of that and then the taking the aligned action and, and moving forward, um, taking those steps that then start to shift it in a different direction. So you're using those things rather than avoiding them and saying go away I don't want to look it's actually let's go there let's mm -hmm. go there and let's let's deal with this head on and and let's understand I always say color it in so start to color in what you want for your future Not, rather than just have the outline like what's the details in That's this out, right, okay. yeah. I don't want this but what do you want and let's go deeper than just the exterior like deep within it what feelings do you want what emotions do you want what finances do you want and like you start to unpick it and that's where you start to tap into your magic and 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 manifestation I would think that it's just I think that's the perfect place to wrap up I think you've completely nailed like what to me anyway manifesting happiness is about is like you say go go so much deeper than the exterior yeah. and ultimately claim it like don't be afraid to say this is what I really want and I think so yeah. many are so just like they're like it's like I want this but oh like should I say it because I don't want people to think I'm like big yeah. kid or this is a stupid dream and it's like no just just say it and and it's the same, isn't it? When you think that what I was getting the image when you were talking is like decluttering. It's like you can you can look at your your clutter and go, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. And it's like, well, well look, let's clear it out then and let's make some exciting space and like, yeah. what are we, we going to do instead? And it's like, it's just getting past that. I think like that overwhelm of that first declutter step sometimes is, and once you're yeah. on your way, you're on your way. Candice, this has been fucking juicy as hell. Um, how can people connect with you? How can people find you? So I'm on Instagram, the Candice Matthew. And um, in my bio, there's a stand store. So for anybody that wants a divine feminine reading or intuitive reading, I call them, um, those are there. And also there's other services as well. Merchandise will be coming soon. And yeah, I always just say connect with me in the way that feels best and what feels right. 
Oh, that's so beautiful. I've been so blessed to have you on Thank here. You so I, hope much. You, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I've loved it. Can we come, can we part two? Yeah, I know. When we were talking about surrender. Without Royal Mail. Oh, Royal with Elf. Oh, with I, my flash. I got flash oh, cramp too late. Oh, uh, I, do you know what? Like I say, I don't care. Like we're just real people dealing with real stuff. Yeah. And, you know, good old, this is what it's like in England. Just look. <laughs> Just a little bit chaotic sometimes. <laughs> uh, and I, you're so right. As soon as you started talking about surrender, I was like, oh, we could part two on this. I said, big yeah. Like, that's my favorite manifesting topic of all time. Guys, please do go and connect with Candice in whatever way, as she said, feels right for you. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Manifesting Happiness. And we will catch you all in a fortnight for our next episode. Take care. Bye. Bye.